It's time! It's, it's time? time for what? For the Curious Giraffe Show. Sit back and relax so we'll sing chat and laugh oh, on the Curious Giraffe Show. Very nice. I'm glad you're back. Okay, now the clap changes a little bit. Lap, lap, clap, clap, flap, 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 flap. Slowing it down a little. Nice. Here we go. George Giraffe was curious, curious about the world. And so he was determined to find a boy or girl who would listen to the questions that were puzzling his mind. The who, the what, the when, the where, the how, and the why. Huh. 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 Jeanette Giraffe was curious, curious about the world. And so she was determined to find a boy or girl who would listen to the questions that were puzzling her mind. The who, the what, the when, the where, the how, and the why. The kids were fascinated by the curious giraffes. Sometimes they made them wonder. Sometimes they made them laugh. Sometimes they too had questions that were puzzling their minds. The who, the what, the when, the where, the how, and the why. Huh. 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 Right. Very nice. Good remembering. Now, we like to play Who's Who on the Curious Crew. So, Brendan has offered to hold up Jeanette Giraffe. We just did a rhyme about her. Hi, Jeanette. Hello. <laughs> Very good. Would Jeanette and Brendan find out who's who on the Curious Crew today? Go for it. What's your name? Maya. Hi, Hi Maya. Maya. What's your name? My name's Sheehan. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Sheehan. What's your name? Megan. Hi, Hi Megan. Megan. What's your name? Justice. Hi, Hi Justice. Justice. What's your name? Bella. Hi, Hi Bella. <laughs> What's your name? Brendan. Hi, Hi Brendan. Brendan. Welcome, everybody. And Megan, do you have a question or a comment? This little Chris, this little giraffe is named Curious. Hi, Curious. Okay, great. Well, welcome. Now let's see what the curious giraffes are wondering about today. I'm going to start with their, always their question. They look up and they see an eagle in the sky flying. And that starts the questions, okay? The second verse, we'll find out what they're wondering about today. Okay, let me remind you of the sign language in the chorus. Share one big sky. Here, share as you push out a little for someone else, keep a little for you. Share one big sky. Share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. And you know what? You can turn to the person next to you. How about Maya and Sham? How about Brendan and Megan? You two and Justice and Bella. You two can turn and give each other a high five. You'll use Jeanette for that. So be gentle, Megan, all right? Here we go. Now let's uh, give the world a big high five. We're different and we know it, but we all get along because we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. Okay. So yes, Brendan and Jeanette are going to work on that. Here we go. Giraffe looked over at Eagle and said, Why was I born to walk? Why were you born to fly? Eagle just shrugged and gave a high five. Hey, we all share one big sky. Oh, yeah. Share one big sky. Share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Giraffe looked over at the children and said, When do you have 
have a birthday and how do you celebrate? Animals don't count them, but we think they're great. And we all share one big sky, oh yeah. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. If you listen carefully, what are they wondering about today? Look at this. When do you have a birthday and how do you celebrate? So what's the topic? Birthdays. Birthdays, yes. So, I made a graph to help us show when we have our birthdays. And actually, let's put it right between, we happen to have two special birthdays this week. Megan and Bella, when are your birthdays? January 6th. January 6th. January 4th. And January 4th. So they're going to, let's see, maybe we'll let that go flat. Can you and Megan put your name cards next to January? See the row with January? And Shia, what month is your birthday? My birthday is in September. September. She's going to find September. And Justice, when is your birthday? October 1st. October. That starts with an O. That's down here. October 1st. Maya, when is your birthday? September. Another September. Brendan, show us when yours is. April. And in April. Very nice. And... Dorothy's birthday is in February. So, does anybody notice anything? Yes, Bella. Is that there's two on, on this side and on this side. Two of the moms have two friends having birthdays together. Isn't that interesting? And Dorothy is having her own. And mine is on my own, and Brendan is on his own. Why and justice. Sienna, Sienna wanted to be here today, but she has a cold and a cough, so she's resting and getting better, and she'll hopefully be back again. But happily, justice is well, and he can come. So I'm very happy about that. So thank you for asking about Sienna. It's nice to be remembered. That's great. Okay. Yes. Mika that sometimes comes to our school, um, she broke a bone that was in her arm, so we dropped her pictures at Tony and Danya's to make it feel better. How nice. So your friend got hurt and couldn't be at school? She couldn't be at a, the school after, on Tuesday and Thursday. Oh, okay. So I know that she'll appreciate those cards. All right. So since we're doing birthdays, I wanted to teach you a birthday song. Okay. Happy birthday, happy birthday, that one that you oh, told me. Started. I know it. Hmm, I see some O's and I know that. Mayo, do you recognize this? I, I think it's the one that I did at school. Mm -hmm, because Daphne Bai, who lives in Montague and used to teach <laughs> at <laughs> Leverett. And Brenda, what would you like to say? She also taught at my school. And she taught at your school. She's very elementary school. And, and she's also my um, piano teacher. Yes. Okay. And she's my friend. And we taught together. And she taught our whole school that her new birthday song. So I wanted to teach it to you. It has two parts. First, we'll sing the pink words. And the green words. Right. So the, the pink words go like this. If you know it already, sing with me. We'll sing it twice so you all can catch on. Here we go. Happy, happy birthday, this is the day we celebrate you. Happy, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Can you try that without me? 
some of you've got it, go ahead. Happy, happy birthday. This is the day we celebrate you. Nice. Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Nice. And the second part goes like this. You want to try that without me? You might. Go ahead. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate you. Nice. Keep going. Nice. Okay, so this time we'll all start on happy, happy birthday. And some of us will keep singing the pink and some of us will sing the green. Who would like to sing the green? Brendan? Brendan and Sheam can move to the green. Everybody else can stay on happy, happy birthdays. And then we'll come back and sing this together. Okay? So pink, green, pink, and the rest of us will do pink, pink, pink. Here it goes. And I'll watch you. If you need help, I'll help you. But I think we can do this. Here we go. Happy, happy birthday. Awesome. Awesome. Isn't that a great new birthday song? I, I loved it when my I heard it. My just getting hot so I took off my shoes. Oh, can you set them behind you? Okay, thank you. Okay, now before we go to the next song, Bella, I'm going to ask you to reach in and see what George wants to tell us about birthdays. Can you pull out the paper and then pass it and just um, let's see. Maya, you haven't had a turn yet. Yeah, pass it down to Maya. You all can just pass it. Okay? <laughs> okay, and speak up. Remember to read clearly some facts that George was looking into about birthdays. Fun birthday facts. More people celebrate their birthdays in August than any other month. Okay, wait a minute here. Did any of us celebrate our birthdays in August? No. no, no, but they checked into everybody's birthday, and I guess in the whole wide world there are more August birthdays, but not with us. Okay, I was curious about that. However, more people are born on October 5th in the United States than any other day. Oh my goodness. So Justice, your birthday is in October. What day in October? Do you remember? 11th. The 11th. Okay, so you're... Your birthday is close to the, the day the first, when the yes. most people... October 1st. First. Okay, well that's even closer. October 5th is the day? Uh, yes. Okay, so look at this, Justice. The first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth. You're just four days away from that most, most birthday place. Interesting. Okay, what else does it say? In the past year, your hair will most likely have grown to 30 and a half inches. Oh my goodness. Okay, reach in here again. How is that possible for your hair to get 30 and a oh, half inches in one, one year? more. But just a minute, I want to go, I want to show us what 30 and a half inches is. <laughs> I put in a tape measure and I agree with Brendan. How is that possible? For it to 30 and a half. 30 so where my half. finger is, if we didn't get haircuts, this is how long. I don't know whose hair they're talking about. I haven't shaved my head in one year. And it's only grown that much? You haven't had a haircut in a whole year? So do you question their fact? 
little. I think I would too. How many of you think your hair grows this long in one year? Not really. Not really. Maybe Maybe some people you know? with, with straight hair, but not everybody. My sister. Maybe with curly hair. Maybe with curly hair if you stretched out the curls. Maybe. So Just I like think mine is super long. Yours, yours is super long and it's soft and curly, isn't it? Beautiful. And mine is, and mine hasn't grown that long. And yours hasn't grown that long. So I don't think really it's true. Oh, I think it would just be that long if you didn't have a haircut for a, th a thousand oh. years. For a thousand years, maybe it would grow that long. What? One, oh, there's, there's this girl named Sailor. She's my friend, and her hair is already um, uh, this long. Is it really? So she has not cut her hair that you know of? So even that one, let's see how long. Okay, that's about 18 inches. So, 30 inches is long, and Brendan raised a very interesting point. Sometimes you might hear somebody say something that says, this is a fact. Wow. But your own mind or heart might say, I'm not so sure about that. I'm going to think some more about that. Maybe they're right, maybe they're not, but it's always good to think for yourself. Okay, Maya, what else does that say? Since your last birthday, you will have had, had about um, 1,460 dreams. <sighs> What's a dream? Who knows what it's a dream is? It's something that you dream about when you're sleeping. When you're sleeping. Anybody else want to say something more about that? Each part? It's, each um, don't get a chance. It's how you kind of, it's how you process things in your life. It's kind of how you... Um, kind of filter out all the problems in your life by dreaming awesome. and filtering out and kind of like, okay, so this has happened in my life and what should I do to fix it? And That's an awesome way to understand dreams, and I agree. Yes? A dream is when you're like in your own world, kind of. It happens inside you, your own world. Nice way to say that. Justice, Dad, you wanted to add something? Okay. That, uh, she <laughs> It's like you having a vision, but in your sleep. Oh, I love that. You all have done a beautiful have a job. So, well, it's sort of like a movie in your sleep. You're having a vision in your own world. All of you had such an awesome way of describing I mean, in the that. day, she said, it's like having a vision, except at night. How can you have a vision in the daytime? Just suddenly, it's like daydreaming. Just suddenly see ah, something in front of you. Ah, have you ever heard the term daydreaming? A little I uh, guess what? I have. Okay. You have, Justice? And what do you think daydreaming is? It's when you're having a dream in the day. In the day. In your head. Simple. Bella, did you have your hand up? Yes. I'm sorry, his neck was in. Go ahead. Um, a dream is when it's like when you're, you're sleeping and you have your own little show on. This <laughs> is your own show. Nobody else sees it but you. And it can be and scary. It, it can be scary sometimes. A scary can. show. It can. Sometimes it can be scary. It's true. Yes? I just forgot what I was going to say. Okay. And is that all the facts you have there? Yep. Okay. You can set that down next to you. Before we move to our, our game, I want to teach you... I introduced this song last time, but I want to take a minute more to teach it again the song that we'll sing with the Passing the, the Pillows game. Um, this is like a wish for somebody. It could be on their birthday, could be when they've been hurt, or could just be in some parts of the world, they say, Asalam Aleikum, just as a greeting. Asalam, we sing that in the peace song. Yes, we did it one other time. And Asalam means peace. Aleikum, be upon you, or be with you. Okay? So everybody say, after, actually each line will repeat itself. So I'll say it once and you say it. Assalam alaikum, alaikum assalam. Assalam alaikum, alaikum assalam. Peace be upon you, and upon you peace. 
peace be upon you and on you peace. May your joys be many and may your sorrows cease. May your joys be many and may your sorrows cease. And then we'll all say, may they cease. May they cease. Great. Okay. It's like really hard. It's hard to remember all that? Yeah. I think it'll be easier when we're singing it and you're, I'm playing. So now we're going to pass the pillows. Pillow. And let's see, Maya, when they get down to you, what should we do? Do you want to just send them back one by one or do you want to carry them over to her? I guess I'll carry them send back. them okay. back. Okay. Either way, either way, the person on the end gets to decide and you can just send them one by one. Okay, and we'll sing the song as we go. And the song of peace for all people. Okay, here we go. You'll catch on. Assalamu alaikum, alaikum, assalam. Assalamu alaikum, alaikum, assalam. upon you peace peace be upon you and upon you peace you're very busy aren't you yep. <laughs> may your joys be many and may your sorrows cease <laughs> may your joys be many and may your sorrows cease may they cease okay you can sit down after this one <laughs> them hold on now everybody have one who has the shy giraffe me you do the I little do. pink shy giraffe on the pocket okay Brenda reach in and pull out your question card who who today you get to think of questions that start with who I really really want to turn what is a turn? Everybody got a turn with this with pillows, and anyone at all can think of a who question. Raise your hand when you have a thought. I'm going to count to five and let everybody think for a minute. I see Brendan's ready. Who's Mr. Pickleface? Uh oh, I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. <laughs> Was that a, a makeup question? Is there really a Maybe. Mr. Pickle face? Maybe. Okay, he's going to leave us Maybe. curious. Bella, do you have a who question? Yeah. Okay. Who is, who is Mr. Giraffe Face? Who is Mr. Giraffe Face? Are you thinking of somebody? <laughs> How about who has a birthday in the winter? It's not me. Okay. Somebody else have a question? Oh, I do. Okay. Who's the waffle man from the song? Who's the waffle man from where? The waffle girl. Who's the, the waffle girl from a song? Yeah. Okay. And Justice? Who's Mr. Nobody? Who is Mr. Nobody? Nobody. Nobody. Okay. So these, this game helps you think of questions. You, I bet you'll think of more later. But I have to tell you a true story. You know how this song says, May your joys be many, and may your sorrows cease. Well, I had, I have many joys, many, many joys. But over vacation, I had a sorrow. And my sorrow was that I got sick, and I felt crummy. And so I wrote a song about it. Oh, yeah, you taught me that. <laughs> I started I to show really you. I was not feeling good. Because you felt sick, and I thought I would teach it to you. And this song I'm going to do a cappella, and it's an echo song. So I'm going to say these words, and you're going to say those words. I, um, when you had the assalamu alaikum, yeah. Um, um, can you turn it, flip it back one more time? Sure. Just to say something. Sure. When you had that, mm -hmm. it looked like may they cease get more soap and wash again. <laughs> <laughs> that is very funny. So that, <laughs> okay, and may they cease. And one way to make the sorrows cease is get more soap and wash it. <laughs> How funny. And why would that be true? 
cold. A cold. You keep them from spreading the germs. So here we oh, go. Oh yeah, that's Daddy and here, <laughs> There's some, some of our family catching a sneeze. So here are the words. And I'll sing it and I'll act it and you sing it with me. I feel sick. Say that. I feel sick. It's no fun. It's no fun. My throat hurts. My throat hurts. My nose runs. My nose runs. My head aches. My head aches. My eyes burn. My eyes burn. I and then together we say, I'm so very, very sad I got the germ. I'm so very, very sad I got the germ. Let's do that again. Okay? Has any, have you ever been sick? I've been sick. Okay, I've so think sick. that. Make your body sort, I've of, been sick. sort of tired and achy. I feel sick. I feel sick. It's no fun. It's no fun. My throat hurts. My throat hurts. My nose runs. My nose runs. My head aches. My head aches. My eyes burn. My eyes burn. I'm so very, very sad. I got the germ. So catch a cough. Catch a cough. Catch a sneeze. Catch a sneeze. Use your arm. Use your arm. Use your sleeve. Use your sleeve. Catch those germs. Catch those germs. Before they leave. Before they leave. Then wash your hands with lots of lather, pretty please. Then wash your hands with lots of lather, pretty please. Yes, wash your hands. Wash your hands. Then wash again. Then wash again. Get more soap. Get more soap. And wash again. And wash again. Stop those germs. Stop those germs. Don't let them in. Don't let them in. Cause I sure don't want to share this with my friends. I sure don't want to share this with my friends. All right. Very good. And can we do it one more time? And Dorothy got the tune. I feel sick. It's no fun. Okay, here we go. Try it. It starts really low because I feel so. Have you? When you have a cold or a sore throat, your voice gets very low. Okay. I feel sick. I feel sick. It's no fun. It's no fun. My throat hurts. My throat hurts. My nose runs. My nose runs. My head aches. My head aches. My eyes burn. I'm so very, very sad I got the germ. Catch a cough. Catch a cough. Catch a sneeze. Catch a sneeze. Use your arm. Use your arm. Use your sleeve. Use your sleeve. Catch those germs. Catch those germs. Before they leave. Before they leave. Then wash your hands with lots of lather, pretty please. Yes, wash your hands. Wash your hands. And wash again. Then wash again. Get more soap. Get more soap. And wash again. And wash again. Stop those germs. Stop those germs. Don't let them in. Don't let them in. Cause I sure don't want to share this with my friends. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Well, I see that we're almost out of time. So let's sing our closing song. We're going to stand up. Try to put on like our before I stand up. Sure. And... Stand up and come over and join hands. Oh, you know what I thought? Let's bring out George so he can be with us on our final song. Okay. And if, does, is Jeanette, does Jeanette want to be with us on the final song? Yeah. Okay. And so I, I guess she and you and Maya can kind of be buddies She's because, frustrated. okay. I can like You could do that. I have Very sweet. Giraffe. Okay. All right. Are you comfortable, everybody? Okay, say goodbye to our friends. We're going to say, keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions and never give up. Keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions and never give up. Bye-bye. We'll see you next time. Do-do, do-do-do.